Hey, what's up Reefers? I'm doing something slightly different for this video. I am actually filming the video and then doing a voiceover um, at a separate time. This way I can focus more on one thing rather than trying to juggle multiple things at the same time. So in the past, what I've done is just kind of run and gun it. I'll have a point and shoot camera and I'll just speak while I'm filming. Um, just ad lib the whole thing. And now I'm still ad libbing, but at least when I speak, I'll concentrate on speaking, and when I film, I can concentrate on composition and just giving you guys the best footage possible. So, let's try this out and see how it turns out. Alright, so quick background. I purchased a pair of Yashagobis with pistol shrimp from Life of Korea, Stiver Dan a while back and unfortunately one of the gobi jumped the nest and died. So I've been keeping an eye out on Diver Dan for another pair of Yashagobi because they're telling me that they cannot specify which sex of gobi to send. So earlier this week, a pair of really great looking Yashagobi showed up on Diver Dan and I pulled the trigger and here they are. At the same order, I also purchased some snails and a comp to kind of replenish my food crew and here it is, I'm trying to activate uh, all the new animals. Now, I also had a pistol shrimp that came with my last order, but I have not seen him since, so I assumed the, wor the worst. So I got another I got another go of pistol shrimp here as well because the the pair of Yashagobi also comes with pistol shrimp. So really quickly, I'm just kind of stacking all the bags into my song to equalize the temperature and then I will start the drinking process. For acclimation, I'm going to spend a little bit more time with the pistol shrimp because shrimps in general are a little bit more sensitive to salinity change. So they take a little, they, they take a little bit more time to get acclimated to uh, the tank water. I just kind of let, let them sit my song for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to equalize the temperature. And here I am, I'm dripping the pistol shrimp. I think I ended up spending about hour, hour 15 minutes, or maybe even more, um, just kind of doing a slow drip on the pistol shrimp. And later on, I will do the same for the snails as well. And here I'm showing that I am not as patient with the fish because fish is a little bit hardier. So I acclimated the fish for about 45 minutes and what I do is basically just use a turkey baster and pull some tank water and squirt them in there and after a couple minutes I'll repeat. It's still a long process um, and it requires me to be around. So while I'm just kind of hanging out and chilling, um, I decided to, you know, just cook some dumplings, you know, still gotta eat. Alright, so it's time to release the animals. My original intention for the pistol shrimp, because it's so tiny, is to release it directly into the rock work. Um, unfortunately, that did not happen. Because it's so tiny, it just kind of got washed out along with the water. I should plan this a little better. Um, but the good thing is that it kind of landed in the corner and it was able to kind of crawl into the rock relatively quickly and no fish fully bothered it. Thank goodness. Because it is really small. Next comes the fish. So the first one is the female. Yasha Gobi, she's really composed, really graceful, and uh, because she's so calm, I figure, okay, uh, let me try something new. I just put it back in the tank, and I'll see if she can just figure the way out of the bag, so I don't have to traumatize it by whether it's like netting her out or kind of like just dump her into the tank really quickly. It takes a little bit, even though I kind of whitened the exit hole a little bit, but. Um, there she goes. Yeah, she's a great looking 
Yashagogi. Really vibrant yellow fin. Same with the new male. Let's keep the names. Well, uh, for, now, for now, I'll just call her the, oh, the female. I'll just call it, here's a male. Let's call him the new guy. So, the new guy is a lot more rambunctious. Even when I was acclimating him, um, he was trying to jump out of the back. It's crazy. He was really energetic, flying all over the place, <laughs> and really aggressive. So, there's a new guy, and you can tell he is a he by the black marking on the pectoral fin, which I'll point out again in a bit. So, it's interesting how they were able to find each other um, as they go into the tank. And as you know, as you know, I lost my last Yashagobi because it kind of jumped through the top mesh. The mesh gap was a little bit too large. So with your help, I knew that BR, uh, Book Reef Supplies actually sell finer mesh. So I went ahead and replaced it. I think it's like quarter inch size. Here's the two new guys, and then my uh, call them OG. Um, at first, I thought. My, origi uh, my original Yashagobi is a female, but after seeing how they interact, I, I actually think it's a male. So okay, this is a new guy. You see that black marking on the pectoral fins? That's a clear indicator. Um, now on the right hand side, the larger size and the small pectoral fin, that's the uh, OG. And right here, I was geeking out. I was like, oh my god, they, they're doing well together. Because I've seen pictures of different species of gobies living in the same burrow. So I assumed they'll be okay. At this point, I'm like, yes, it's working. I have a little community. They all share the same bur burrow, you know. It's going to be awesome. I do not have to pull any fish out, etc., etc. So they're kind of just kind of feeling each other out here. Um, just hanging out. And this went on for a while. This went on for at least like half an hour. I was just watching the whole time. And then what's even better? They moved in the same barrel. How cool is that? So we can count how many fish is in there to come out. So I think this is the OG. Notice a really small pectoral fins. I think got torn off somehow. And then let's see which guy is this. This is the new guy. See the black marking? Now this is when I know there's trouble. They kind of like circling each other and then posturing. When I had the camera off, right, the new guy actually grabbed the pectoral fins or like uh, one of the fins of the OG and just, they were like battling. I was freaking out at that time. I'm like, oh my gosh, because it was vicious. So that was probably the worst. Um, now they're just kind of posturing and you know, a little, little, this little chase. So this is when I know that, okay, maybe I, the, the OG is a, is a guy, not a female as I previously thought. So in terms of the two males, um, the new guy is definitely the more vicious of the two. And as you can see here, the OG guy kind of pushed the corner and the new guy just kind of dominated the entire front portion of the tank. But the interesting thing is, half an hour later, the new guy just disappeared. He did not jump, I checked. Uh, believe me, I checked. Um, he just kind of went off and hide in the rock work somewhere. And OG definitely took advantage of the situation and was never has never left the uh, the female side. So here we see on the right hand side a smaller female, and OG is really patiently waiting in the middle. Um, the female will go crazy in front of the uh, because, probably because like she sees her own reflection, but the OG just kind of. Let her do her crazy things and just always be there when she's done and ready to come back. And always that be like the, the home that she returns to per se. So I think there's a lesson for us to learn there, gentlemen. Um, I have not seen the new guy yet uh, in the last day, day and a half, so we'll see. Uh, I'm pretty sure he'll resurface soon. But that is the situation right now. Um, we have an interesting love triangle going on, almost like a Korean drama. So I will keep you guys posted. But for now, I have three Yashagobis in my tank. How awesome is that?